Hello guys, it's Mirage from the Hidden Level showing you a preview of Infra. It is an action indie game and developed and pub published by Voice Interactive. Probably not saying it right. Apologize, gentlemen. It was released on January the 15th, 2016, and is currently available on Steam for $6.99. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump in. Already the game twice kinda crashed on me. I notice every time I minimize the screen, I I cannot open it again for the life of me so I'm not gonna touch anything oh. oh hey Mark were you here all night no I just was I I don't know oh <gasps> I have a smartphone you guys look so nerdy oh my god that's like the same face morning. facial structure as the morning bus. here good morning <laughs> except morning. for the ponytail morning and sorry for the early meeting. I have a feeling we might have a long day ahead of us, so we better so start early. which building did you accidentally demolish this time? Is that my voice? I sound like I'm croaking and I'm about to I'm die. not saying we'll be here all day, but some of the places you're about to survey are in exceptionally bad shape, so we might as well be prepared for the worst. Also, the maintenance reports we received from the municipality council yesterday seemed incomplete. Listen, that's so not my fault. So either those reports have gone missing, or there never was any maintenance done to begin <laughs> Sounds with. Sounds great. <laughs> exactly. So be extra careful out there. Boys acting and I want everyone wearing their helmets today. That means you too, Mark. But enough chit chat for now. Mark, why don't you go ahead and start the presentation? You're better to. with computers anyway. Okay, change slide. All right, a quick recap of the situation. As you all should know, following the corruption scandal last year and with the upcoming local council elections, there have been some changes in the maintenance services of the Stalberg region. It was decided that all key infrastructure, including power plants and water systems, will now be maintained by us. Do we really need to hear all this again? Well, not really. I just thought it would be a good idea to jog your memory a bit, you know? Anyway, like I said earlier, you know? there were I some do. missing details uh. about the state of these buildings. That's why you'll be having a field day today, surveying these places. I'm sure we'll run into something that is in need of urgent maintenance. If those bridges crossing the Plow Wedge River are any indication, I expect to see some pretty nasty stuff. I hope not. The city council doesn't have much money to spare. Sorry, it's Typical. exactly the same face anyway, as that guy there. Next so slide, please. Too. So, as <gasps> discussed Mark, earlier, Steve, you've all been assigned you're specific here. locations today. Steve, you'll be taking the Plow Wedge River facilities. Right. Carla and Anna, yeah. you'll get to visit <laughs> right, the two right, gorgeous right. dam. The view from the top is supposed to be pretty spectacular, so the gig isn't without its benefits. Naturally. So I heard I get to visit a dam too. That's right. Jesus. You will take care of the Hammer Valley Why dam I sound like and dead? its surroundings. Oh, and there are a lot of tunnels there, so don't forget to bring your flashlight. Sounds like a great way to spend a sunny day. All right, final <laughs> slide. Oh, very funny, Mark. <laughs> Next slide. All right, that will be all for now. Gear up, guys, and don't forget to grab your master keys from the reception. And if you find anything major, you can reach me on my work cell phone. Oh, sorry, am I supposed to do something after that? Oh, okay. Oh, train! It's the life of a linear train tracks. I know, it gets real jealous. It's a nice building. Oh, look, this guy's a little teddy bear. Yeah, that's right, I see your teddy bear, you pathetic fool. I'm joking, I have a bunch of other plushies and that one to judge. It's like, pretty styling. Like, I don't even know what my job is, really. What am I supposed to do? Re the car readers are acting up again, use the side door. Oh my god. I was admiring the infrastructure, now I am insulting it. I insult the put. really should fix the road surface on the northbound highway. It's in awful condition. You mean the M3? Yeah. Guess I won't be coming to work soon. Feels like my car can't take much more. Why not use the public transport? 
You live right next to a train station anyway, and there's a metro station south of the office. Have you seen the charge? Yeah. Why I would take you? the metro even if you paid me to. Actually, the company will pay half of the regional ticket for you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, saves you a fair bit of money in the long run. <sighs> I'm thinking about selling my... I'm sorry, I'd have to do this all the time? Yeah, I still don't trust the condition of the metro tunnels. Jesus oh, Christ. Sorry, it's just like... Okay. controls. It's not like Whoa! You click the middle and you zoom in. <laughs> Sorry. Do I have to do it every time we open a door? Because that's gonna get tired. How did I just leave? I'm going further up. Oh, am I getting my equipment? a barbecue. What? Keypads. What's the point of keypads? I'm going to elevator. I'm not going downstairs. I'm sorry. I'm having trouble. Did I press the button? I want to use the elevator. The elevator. I'm not going to be able to use it. Let's go. <laughs> That's the last doors ever. Wow, it's so pretty. Oh my god, back here. What was the whole where am I going? You know what? Maybe these people are in my way. I'm gonna yell at them. Get out. Feeling alright. Did you send Mark? me that report yet? Ugh. Never mind. Oh. What? Oh, I really actually don't know where I'm being directed. Am I going up? Every door tends to open towards <laughs> me. I actually broke the glass. Don't touch. Good job, Carl. God damn it, Carl. God damn it, Peter's phone. Put Sorry. that shit down. Sorry, Jeff. That's all right. Just don't do it again, or else someone's gonna get their ass beat. Oh. Whoa. See? Every time. Why does every door have to open towards me? Is this my stuff? Mark, before you take the following with you, flashlight, camera, helmet, last time you did it, keys from reception, boss. I love company car keys below and get you, Mark, as these suck. You suck. Do I need to know? Where's my helmet? That was like the one thing I didn't got a chance to look at. So I have no maps. Oh, there we go. Hey -o. It's like I have a drinking problem. Visually, it's gorgeous. People are terrifying looking, but sometimes, you know, what's the point of trying to get the human body correctly? Oh, oh my god, that was good. What do I do now? Do I just have to, do I have to answer to someone? I should be able to push those pylons down. Cool. Cool, 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 oh, can I 
I take the elevators down? Please, go level. Yeah! Making some progression. Victory coffee. Looks like someone forgot to pay the electricity bill. <laughs> Totes, man. Why are you crouching down? Oh. Are we allowed to do this? Oh. Oh, god damn it. Can I just turn them all? Let's see what they do. I guess I have to take the stairs. Totes, man. I get rid of you. These narrow hallways. My big booty. Can't get through them. <gasps> Minus one. We're in Canada? Actually, I am in Canada. Uh. This building, this whole building Shit. has trust I issues. I forgot to grab the master keys from the reception. <sighs> oh, she, I forgot the master keys from the reception. Jesus, it's a fire alarm. It's a fire exit. You should have used a key lock for that. Oh, oh. Oh, sorry. Wrong door. I'm just saying, that's just a, a design flaw. People with slime should die. Where is the stupid perception menu? Or man, I should automatically assume it's a lady. Warning, Mark. You have a letter from the city authority. It's on the counter. Yeah, Don't it. worry, it's not a parking ticket. Looks like it's just some keys. Oh, thanks. See you later. Have a nice day. Yeah, whatever. Give shit on you, you're real life. Oh, 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 back up. You may wonder if I'm watching this, I probably would play a game in my life. I have, I just not really good at the keyboard. <laughs> Red car, red car, red car. Let it be the red car. Or a motorcycle. Ugh, it's a truck. I guess trucks look really powerful. <clears throat> I did say red, I would buzz a car. I hope I don't have to drive. For the sake of everyone's life, do not. And it's a beautiful day in Salberg today, with a little over 18 degrees Celsius and slight overcast. Yes, the achievement unlocked. Uh, oh, this is interesting. I'm going to give it a few, maybe. Maybe it's. <gasps> it's moving! Yes! Okay. Okay. That's good. No math or anything directly anywhere. I'm finally here. The traffic was horrible. <laughs> Any last minute tips before I start surveying this place? You know the trail. Take pictures of everything that's broken. Also, if you come across any technical documents or other documents of interest, take pictures of them. It'll help our cause. Okay, bye. Bye. I 
First inspection target. An old power plant that I already forget the name of. Let's see how this place is doing. Well, first of all, where's this junk? Out of batteries. Damn it, why do that? It's a fun. Who even makes these shitty batteries? I just quickly just like put it back in the pocket. There we go. Now what? <laughs> I'm not being directed. Oh, this is. A pack of spare batteries for the camera. So I have to hoist my uh, last batteries. Nice flashlight to be able to. I have no idea what I'm looking for with these photos, to be honest. That's not good. Go, wow, wow. Damn, my keys don't fit this lock. Could use some ball colors right about now. Hint, hint, much? Okay, we'll find these ball cutters. Interesting fact here, you cannot adjust no options on the menu here when you press escape. You can only adjust uh, the options in the, before you start the game. It's good to know that. I was going to improve the sense of my mouse sensitivity, but never mind. Wow, this flashlight is so chaos. Well, what do you know? <laughs> I'm in luck today. Who? What do you know? I'm curious. This is the. Guys, voice though. <laughs> My flashlight not working. The flashlight's like barely doing the job. 
Such a beautiful day. I'll admit, the environment like this. Ah, can't have to ever go inside. These video games bring the breathtaking beauty of nature to me in my own room. It's great. Such a video games. I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be like that. Are you sure? Maybe it was the, the part of the design. You don't know. Pair batteries for the flashlight. Last batteries. Nope, not anymore. A pack of spare batteries for the camera. Oh, are you going to? Are you going to keep saying that every time? That is, it's making it tired for a Find me so much clues as to, I guess, the unsafe power plant. I don't really know. Is the John? Oh, yeah, there's flies around. Definitely. <gasps> what is this train track doing here? Jump over. Okay. Last batteries. I can. I have a feeling that him constantly narrating exactly what he's doing is gonna probably get frustrated. I understand like telling, like talking about like, his findings, but like, he's gonna constantly remind me that he picked up batteries for his. Camera's his last battery is gonna be like. Cool. Just do a good job doing what I do. Batteries. I need them. A pack of spare batteries for the camera. Oh my god, that being said, I'm s that will be it for the preview of Infra. I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe I'll do another, another little preview when things start to get a little serious. Because I'm pretty sure things are supposed to be as serious, but 20 minute preview or 25 minute preview, so. 
because you can't expect to have the whole story unfold in front of your eyes. So thanks again to Mirage Mutant Levels. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to check us out on uh, Twitch and whatnot. We're, we're pretty cool people. We're pretty cool when you get to know us. Okay, so bye guys.